Are you struggling with Spring Security? Can't get that login to just work? Any tutorial that you find online is from the past decade? Well, don't worry, because I'm here to help. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Getting Spring Security up and running can be quite a challenge. There are a lot of things to configure and something just goes wrong all the time. In this series, I will be showing you how to implement Spring Security on a completely new project. We will be using Spring Boot 3, which is the newest version at the time of filming. They did change a little bit how configuration works in Spring Boot 2, so if you're familiar with that, you might still find something useful in this series. And in the end, I am going to show you how to write a couple of integration tests for your endpoints, which is usually a neglected part of many tutorials. So stay tuned for that. Now let me talk a little bit about the structure of this series, because I think that is quite important. The series is split into a couple of videos that build on top of each other. I've recorded the coding portion of the video in one sitting, so you will get the most benefit if you watch those videos back to back. However, if you need to refer back to any particular topic, the series is split into major milestones, which are quite standalone. Also note that each video has chapter markers for your convenience. I am trying to keep this series short and very focused, which means that I will solely be focusing on integration of Spring Security, which means that I will not be focusing on the theoretical part of security. If you don't know what a JWT token is or what is the difference between authorization and authentication, you might want to brush up on that before watching this video, though if you just follow along and copy exactly what I do, you should be just fine. Also, please note that this series focuses on REST API security only, which means that we will not be doing any HTML forms or any sort of UI. This series also does not include OAuth, because we are going to be issuing those tokens ourselves. Please boost the video engagement by commenting how that is a very bad idea. Refresh tokens also won't be covered, but if there's enough interest, I might make a video just about that. And please note that I will be going quite fast if you're just a beginner, so there's no shame in pausing the video or changing the video speed. The great thing about internet video is that you are in charge of the pace. Anyway, I'm feeling that you're very eager to start, so without further ado, let's go to the computer.